welcome to Stropicals. In this video, I just want to show you how us here at Stropicals change our aquarium substrate. Now, before I get into that, guys, I want to give you three reasons why we're changing from sand substrate to gravel substrate. Um, now, this is in our experience, so the majority of people might not agree with this, but this is in our own experience. So. Number one, when you have sand substrate, when the fish swim over it or hit off it, it will stir up the sand. Now once that happens, the filter will suck it in and it will clog your filter in periods of time. And it will also, in some cases, clog your impeller. Now that's not good because it will damage it. Now the second reason is when you're vacuuming it, now this is a vacuum so you clean your substrate with this i'll also be doing a video in the future on vacuuming but until then when you're vacuuming now it doesn't matter if you're going fully down or if you're staying on the carpet going along like that it'll still suck up some sand and there's a little flap inside it's up here now that sand will get stuck in that and it's a bit of a nuisance then because it stops this from working then you'll have to keep taking it out, banging it off something, using an air pipe to clean it out and then you'll go again and it'll happen again and it comes a bit of a nuisance. And then the third reason is it, it's so compact, no air can circulate around it, no water can circulate around it because it's compact. It's not like gravel. Gravel have holes and gaps in it so the water can circulate through it, but sand can't. It's compacted. So gas pockets gets trapped in the sand and it will cause a nasty smell coming up through your aquarium and out through your aquarium which ain't great because it's a stinking smell. Now that's the third reason and I'll also be doing a future video on the gas pockets in detail in depth on that. But until that, till then guys I'm going to go through the steps how we take when we're changing substrate. So first of all, we'll take out the old substrate and obviously we'll leave in some of the old substrate because it'll have beneficial bacteria on it for our new substrate. And then we'll take out all the ornaments and we'll place them in a bucket of the tank water to keep beneficial bacteria on your ornaments. We're not going to wash them or not, we're just going to leave them there and then put them back in then when we put in the new substrate. Now. We're not going to clean the filter and we're not going to clean the glass. We're going to clean the front of the glass because that's the viewing point. But then to be benefit, beneficial bacteria on the side, the back and that side. Because beneficial bacteria sticks on your substrate, your ornaments, in your filter and on the glass. And there's partial bit of benefit, beneficial bacteria in your water. Now, don't use tap water. Use your tank water for your decorations. Uh, so yeah guys, that's that and I'll show you then, oh, before I forget, uh, the sand is good for your bottom feeders and for the barbells and the corridors. Now, I'm having a bowl move here because I'm putting subs or gravel substrate in, but we're after getting it smooth, so it should be okay for the barbells, we're hoping. But I've done it before and it worked out fine, so... This is in our experience, I hope to help you guys and if you could like and subscribe it'd be much appreciated, it'd be much support to the channel and I'll show you when we decorate it and see what it looks like. So guys when you take out your ornaments, what we do here at Stropicals is we take out the ornaments a day or two beforehand, that way it lets the tank water settle and the filter can pick up any debris or uneaten food or poo that's in the tank so then you're ready then just put in your new substrate right guys uh, this is the tank gone now we just have to decorate and the stones rain just make sure that when you're getting stones or gravel or pebbles whatever you're putting in for the substrate make sure to give them a quick rinse in a bucket or a tub or a container or whatever you're putting the stones in a quick rinse with cold water before you put them into your aquarium just to get all the dust uh, the dust off it and um, what i also do when i'm finished i just spray a bit of 
window and glass cleaner on the glass, just three three squares, and I use kitchen towel or a cloth and just give the outside of the tank a clean just to give it that extra nice view when you're looking at the tank. So it'll be nice and clean and clear looking. Um, I also have a video on that in one of my previous videos about how to clean the inside of your tank and the outside of your tank, the quick and easy and effective ways if you'd like to go back and give that a look. Much appreciated and thanks very much for watching and best of luck.